Thank you, Mariam Rajaibi and the members of the National Council of Resistance of Iran for inviting me today. You are all an inspiration for Iranians living under the oppression of mullahs and for freedom-loving people around the world as you have courageously and steadfastly sacrificed your personal well-being for the cause of getting rid of the mullahs' brutal regime and to establish freedom and democracy in Iran. The NCRI and the people of Iran reject dictatorship in any form, the Shahs or the mullahs. The narrative spread by the mullahs is that if they were overthrown, favor a return of the Shah's dictatorship, which is a bold face lie. The Iranian people want and deserve their freedom. Maryam Rajavi's 10-point plan clearly lays out what is best for the Iranian people, much as the Declaration of Independence did for America's founding fathers in fighting to remove the shackles of repression in America. The appointment of Abraham Raizi, a hardliner, mass murderer, responsible for killing 30,000 political prisoners in Iran in 1988, was designed to strike fear in the Iranian population, to discourage and violently punish dissent, while rushing to a nuclear weapon and increasing Iran's aggressive behavior in the region. But Raizi has failed to cease and crush the uprisings. They continue, as evidenced by the recent uprising in Khuzestan province in May of this year. Protesters were bravely chanting Death to the de dictator, death to Khamenei, death to Raizi. These brave people of Iran and the members of the NCRI are the world's inspiration that there is an alternative to the mullahs, that the people of Iran demand a regime change, which should be the single most important objective to freedom-loving countries worldwide. There is a serious alternative to the mullahs in Maryam Rajavi, who would not only change life for the better for every Iranian, but remove the threat of a Middle East nuclear arms race, remove the threat of war, and return Iran to the role of a responsible member of the international community. This is all possible. Continue to be a loud and reasoned voice for all Iranians, that the only acceptable alternative is a free Iran. Yes, a free Iran, free Iran. Thank you very much.